hello guys welcome back to Jamie Tech in today's video I'm going to show you how to uh, sign in with Google uh, using Swift UI only in three step right it won't take a lot of time let's do not waste time and go into deep to the project right but before I would like to show you that whether my uh, you know whether I have solved the solution or not so here is my project authentication no user and now I would like to authenticate one user with Google signing here go with and uh, here look at this Jimmy Cohn and here it is go let's see whether we have uh, we have any user not here it is the user and here's the ID that's bang it works so let's go how does it work uh, so here are the three step you have to uh, keep in mind right uh, it is for 2000 the most updated version right uh, 2023 uh, so uh, the first thing that we need to do is to uh, go to the project uh, you want to create new project uh, create that thing uh, go to uh, uh, here uh, add the following uh, dependencies you can see the github is here I mean you can get the uh, github link here the firebase the google sign in and there you will get one option for you know firebase auth right you have to keep in mind firebase auth enable that one click on firebase auth and when google sign in uh, click uh, you know enable both of them right so this was the first step uh, now what I want to do is to because it takes a long time that's why I don't want to do that here uh, so the, the second step is we have to set up and configure firebase so well, what you have to do is to go to firebase uh, here this uh, right uh, firebase create a new project if you want yeah let me do that one um, my app right with Google sign in uh, go uh, create it uh, it might no worries enable if you want to uh, no just this would be for testing okay go ahead it might take a little bit time so I don't want to waste time and solve it within three step uh, within three minutes come on go ahead oh and it is yes you might know the uh, firebase SATA but let me do that quickly as well for you uh, here it is so we have to set up for bundle id hope you know that uh where is my bundle id is here you go uh here it is sign in here the bundle id of the project copy and paste it here if you want my app right uh, go ahead and click it register and here we go with it come on go ahead come on go 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 okay download it and you know just uh, let me do that uh, we have not downloaded uh, but just yeah we have it and here we get uh, here it is just come on you know you know just past it here right but before they look at uh, all of them you know it, they should be you know copy items if needed create folder reference and gym change it right the application here and before that you have to remove the act right and here it is you know we have some problem with date you know uh, we have already one available there so I don't want uh, so you will have a single uh, uh, Google P list there then go to you know a reversed client ID copy copy this and go to uh, info.plist uh, here and if uh, URL types if it is not available uh, you know if this is not available just click on the plus button you will get it just paste it here okay uh, the last type was 58 and here it is 58 okay it is in your uh, this was this uh, you know it is uh, all about the setup and configure firebase okay go and uh, you know just I would like to delete this step right uh, as I have already in my 
okay uh, so what we have to do next is to go to the uh, app you know the main application there we need to import the following libraries uh, here then we have to register our ape delegate for firebase data okay then what we have to do is to uh, you know you can follow this link exactly this is a link you can uh, follow and uh, but before that I would like to show you my own solution here uh, here it is you know in your app delegates application did finish launch with options method configure the firebase object right so this is what we have to do to configure the uh, uh, firebase here you can see and here the method should call the handle URL method of the go google uh, gid sign in uh, instance which will probably handle the url that your application receives at the end of the uh, authentication process right here we have it asks the delegate to open the resource specified by the url so go ahead and copy and paste the things in your uh, file right so that's it for the uh, setup uh, firebase setup and now we have the next step is to simply configure google sign in that's it so simple uh, so where we have in uh, where we have to configure uh, sorry where we have to implement google sign in is to go to uh, uh, you know just create view model right and go ahead and import the following then we have uh, you know Google, you know, sign in with Google a VM, right? And it is an observable object. I just this, uh, you know, variable to track whether we are signing or not. And here the method goes on. This is what you have to do for your file for for signing with Google. So the first we need to get the ID of the client here. Firebase dot ape dot option uh, dot client ID. If we have, then okay. Otherwise, bang just get out of there then what we have to do is create google sign in configuration object right uh like config equal to a gid configuration client id with client id right configuration if we look at uh you know mm, light config uh equal to config to equal to gid uh configuration you know look at this you know initialize a gid object with a client id that's what we have to initialize right shared instance dot configure with date okay then what we have to do is to have the, the sign in method goes here uh, gid uh, sign in shared instance dot okay it is uh, share uh, so here the, the sign in method goes here uh, gid dot shared instance uh, sign in share the instance dot sign in and here we go uh, you know with presenting this is updated version right application utility so here we have to pass the ui view controller so go ahead and jump to there uh, you need to create a new uh, class and it would be final won't be updated right here look at this uh, utility application utility uh, static a uh, single variable right uh, you know uh, property uh, and here we have a ui view controller guard late screen U ui application that share that screen scene right first is ui window scene right this is what we have to pass in the uh, ui view controller and then bomb this and then return root go back to the sign in method the, what we have we we just get from there a user and error and we if the if we have if we got a error then we just bring this error okay uh, if we have the error we just print it out and uh, uh, also we have if we have a correct user right and id token right if we uh, you know uh, have a correct id and then it's okay you know assign to user otherwise just bang out you know don't go ahead 
uh, let access token user access token and do the credential uh, google uh, uh, google auth provided dot credential with the uh, id token the token string and this and that and with the access token okay then do the uh, authentication of dot auth dot sign in with credential so there we get error and result if we have the error we just break that and if we get the uh, result we just bring the result with the uh, we bring the user right so this was so simple i think it wouldn't take a lot of time and here in my uh, waves we uh, just uh, login view go here and just i post it here vm vm is here the uh, instance of my sign in with Google observable object and here I did this simple where it is gone here vm.google sign in sign in with Google uh, so these were the simple steps uh, exactly the uh, three steps first we just added the following thing you know and then we set up and configure our firebase right uh, that's easy and then implement the sign in Google sign in that's it and now let's test it test our application whether it works or not uh, exactly uh, it works let me do check it out of course it works you know we have you know I have already you know have two accounts but before I want I can create another and make it up and if I click on cancel what I get the user cancel the sign in flow that's what the error we get if I go ahead and click it up uh, on Jamicon, we just uh, the user signing. You know, this user signing, we get the user, right? This is our user, right? Get it? And if I check it out, we have signing. I have signing. Uh, if I want to delete this account and try to uh, go ahead and click it up on this let me uh, uh, right now I have no user and uh, here if I click uh, it we get the user thanks uh, so thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe as well as don't forget to share with your friend bye